Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be creating a look as if I was in Euphoria for Euphoria Sunday and I am going to be throwing a Valentine's Day twist on today's look since it's that time of year as well. Um, I think that's all I have to say for this intro so before we get into it I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get to it. I saw someone comment saying to cross my bangs before pinning them back so I'm trying that out today we'll see how that goes. Um, but I think I'm going to start off with my eyes. I did practice this look already last night So you can see some staining here, but it's really really fun. I'm excited to show you guys So I'll zoom you guys in and we'll get to it. I'm just going to prime my eyes first with the rare beauty eye primer And I'm also going to throw a bit of concealer on my under eyes. I'm using the Lancome one I'm also not going to be using anything new in today's video, I forgot to mention that, but I'm throwing this down here just to brighten it up and so we add a base as well. You can use your eye primer if you're planning on wiping the excess off, but I'm just going to do this because I know I'll forget. So I'm first going to be grabbing this gel liner from ColourPop. This is in the shade Cherry Pie. This pencil formula is not the greatest, but it still worked. It's kind of crumbly. So I just broke some off onto a palette on my desk here. Took a little section of it, and now I'm going to smoosh it with this uh, little Melt Cosmetics liner brush. This is a discontinued brush. I always think about what I would look like if I was on the show. So this video is thrilling for me. I feel like my makeup style would be in between Maddie's and Cassie's. I feel like Maddie's is a bit too harsh and like 90s-esque for me. I love how Cassie's are more soft. Um, so I feel like in between would be my sweet spot. What about you guys? So I'm just drawing a line straight out. And now I'm going to kind of curve it in doing like a little soft S curve here. And I'm just sketching it out. I'm not going to put any pigment right here. I actually got the base idea from a photo on Pinterest, which I'll throw in right here. I couldn't find who the original creator was. So if you know who this is, tell me her username in my comments so I can give credit to her. Pinterest is notoriously bad at like erasing credit of artists, it's so rude. Um, and now I'm going to go into the inner corner here and draw a line as well. And I'm also going to extend my inner corner. I just poked myself in the eyeball there. This is like a rough sketch of the look. It's going to get nicer, I swear. I'm adjusting the angle a little bit. I don't like how straight out I did the initial line. So I'm just curving it up a little bit more and I'll clean that up with some concealer now. Just gonna extend it a touch for my actual liner. I'm not gonna bring this all the way in though. I'm gonna end it around halfway until it like naturally fades away in a thin line. Okay, so here's our rough draft. <laughs> so now I'm going to switch to this brush from Sigma, I believe. Yes, it's a Sigma winged liner brush. It's a super, super small eyeliner brush. And I'm going to be dipping into my Sugar Pill Fun Size Palette, the first edition. And I'm going to be using Game Over, which is kind of an orangey red. And I'm going to kind of soften the blend just on the inner portion. I want the outer portion to be kind of crisp and we're gonna be crisping it up shortly here as well. But I want this to fade nicely in the center of the look. Now I'm going to grab the shade Level Up, which is the pink right in the center here. And I'm going to just place that on top of it to add like a pink hue to this as well. I think it'd be fun to do Euphoria inspired looks um, a couple Sundays here while the episodes are are airing. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. I can also do different twists on them, like uh, like a shot my stash or like a theme or recreating an actual character's look from the show. I really like Cassie's 
uh, winged eyeliner with the gemstones. I want to do something like that. So here we are with that. I'm now going to take this other ColourPop pen. It's red. It's in the shade Chili. That one right there. And I'm going to crisp up the edge of all of this to make it look sharper. I'm gonna anchor both elbows to my desk. And sorry if I fade off camera here. I'm gonna try to stay stable. Oh God, this is hard. Okay, that worked out a lot better when I originally practiced this, but I think this pen is already like drying out. So it made it look skippy instead of sharp. So that sucks. Just gonna be going in with concealer once again to sharpen this edge here. Okay, I'll revisit that in a moment. So now I'm going to grab the most Euphoria-esque shadow in my collection. This is from the Pat McGrath Utopian Dreams palette. You know which one, this one right here. It just reminds me of the colors they use in their cinematography. Just like that blue, pink, and violet. It's so Euphoria, you know? So I'm going to put this all over my lid in the center here. I'm putting the most concentration in the center. Can I use this? I don't know. I've never done this before. Let me see if I can use this. Oh yeah. This is a Glossier Play brush. I think this was for the glitter. I don't even know. It's just like a silicone tip. Didn't work very well. I'm just gonna tap it. But here's where we're at now. Um, I still have to refine it a touch, but I'm going to grab these little hearts from Anastasia. It's the little glitters and I'm gonna throw a couple on this look taking my house of lashes lash glue I'm gonna throw one right in the center Right there as well as in the inner corner Boop. I feel like I need an extra pop right in the center so I'm going to be taking the lighter glitter shade that's in here as well I'm just gonna put it right there right above my iris there that's the pop I needed just needed a touch more dimension there okay so I'm going to do this eye off camera real quick and I'll be right back I am so proud of this eye look you guys I feel like I nailed the symmetry as best as I could it's so fun looking I freaking love it when I practiced this look I only did it on one eye but to see it on both uh, I love it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So now I'm just going to add some mascara. I'm going to be using my Essence Lash Princess, the False Lash Effect one. I'm going to go all out today and I might add some falsies. So these are two styles from Velour from the Effortless Lashes collection. I have the style Would I Lie, which are some of my favorites. And this one over here I think is Mini Me. Yes, Mini Me. Very cute. I'm gonna try one on each eye so I can see which one flatters this eye look more. So this is Mini Me. And this is Would I Lie. Hard to say, I like both. <laughs> I feel like this one looks a lot softer with the look. This one's too spiky. I feel like it distracts from the look here. This one follows it a little bit and they'll look more subtle once they're glued on as well. I think I'm gonna go with Mini Me and I'm applying them with the Velour Lash Tool which makes things so much easier. And I always pinch them to my natural lashes that's a great style if you want to do winged liners. I feel like it suits the angle. So now it's time to move on to the base. I'm so excited to see how this all comes together. For my base today, I'm going to be going in with my Fenty Beauty Eavesdrops in the shade 5. And I'm going to apply it with a brush today. Going in with my Moda Complexion Brush. It's been a moment since I, since I used this. I feel like there's a lot of exciting base products 
being launched recently. There's the LYS concealer, which I will be trying. I'll be trying everything I'm mentioning here. The Rose Ink Tinted Serum and the Kosas Foundation. Excited to see how that goes. I forgot how velvety this makes my skin look. <laughs> it's so pretty. I'm sorry I've been neglecting you. I did end up wiping away all the concealer that was under my eyes at the beginning, <laughs> but now I'm going to be going in with the Kosas Revealer Concealer since I was just talking about that foundation. And I'm going to be using the shade 3.20. Kind of tricky to do when I applied mascara, but I'm up for the challenge. And I'm going to set my under eyes with my Pat McGrath Blurring Under Eye Powder. I can't believe how long this stuff lasts. I thought I was only gonna have like a couple weeks left in this, like three months ago. <laughs> I'm still going. To contour and add subtle warmth, I'm going to be using my M Cosmetics So Soft Stick in the shade Terra. And I'm blending it out with my Moda blending fan brush. I don't know if I'm in the mood for a highlighter. Not yet at least. I feel like I, I can skip it uh, and go straight into blush, which uh, I picked out a bunch here <laughs> that I feel like would flatter it. I have the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Puff. I think that'd be cute. I have this cream blush from Fenty, which I think is too wild for this. I don't think it's gonna be nice with the red. That's Bikini Martini. I also have this purple, which would potentially be nice from M Cosmetics, or the baby blush from M as well. I should have tested this out before I applied foundation. That's Baby, and that's Puff, which I think suits this more. Baby has a bit of peach in it, that I think will clash with it. And let's see Lilac from M Cosmetics. Mm, I feel like it works, but it's too purple. I'm going to use Glossy Puff. And I'm applying that a bit higher than I usually would, right under my eyes. Just a little kiss of blush, it's cute. And now I'm just gonna quickly do my brows real quick and I'll be right back. So please enjoy the intermission. Now looking at myself as a whole, I feel like I need a bit more warmth than I added here. So I'm gonna grab my Glowish by Huda Beauty bronzing powder in the shade 02 Medium. I think this is going to add the perfect amount without adding too much. Just needed a little bit more warmth. That was fading away. I think that's better. Now for my lips, I'm going to be lining them first with the Melt Cosmetics Perfectionist Lip Pencil in the shade Bare. And I'm just gonna be adding height to my lips. So I overline my lips slightly on the Cupid's bow. Just on my border, like it looks like it could be a part of my lips. And then I'm going to underline them a bit right here same with the bottom overlining right here and then I'll go under and then I just rub them <laughs> like that to diffuse the color and I think Villa from Glossier is gonna be a good color for this and it's just sheer this is the ultra lip Before I release the bangs, here is the look all complete. I'll zoom you guys in so you can see it all. I freaking love it. Are you kidding? How fun is this? This is a look I'd wear on Valentine's Day to Euphoria High. <laughs> it kind of worked, but now they're like too straight. <laughs> I still think I need to touch them up with with my Dyson. I'll be right back. And here is the finished completed look. I am so proud and so in love with this look. It's insane. 
uh, yeah, and I hope you love it as well. Let me know if you'd like to see more Euphoria themed videos. I would love to create more. This is such a fun style to play around with, but that's going to be it from me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it fun. If you did, please give this video a like. It would help me out so very much. I'll make sure to link all of the products I used in today's video in the description down below, so feel free to check that out, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye!